not the right vibe. All right, so I saw a lot of things that uh, end up being wrong or that I changed my mind on, and this is gonna be one of them. Yep, you guys guessed it. We're doing it, said I wouldn't do it, but the only cheap, reasonable thing. I'm gonna get this stuff done, get the bolts off, and then we'll go from there. Pretty overwhelmed with all the options here. Trying to figure out what helmet to get. Don't want to lose my eyeballs. So, we'll see. All right, so I just got the welder up here. Got the extension cord to the house. I got everything set up. I had it on this chair here. Got a nice little ground. And then I tried to start welding and nothing happened. So I think the extension cord just doesn't do it. I think I'm gonna try and push the truck out and get the truck closer to the house so I don't need to use an extension, but we'll see how that goes. All right, I'm sweating like a dog right now. Just close the hood. So I'm gonna see if I can get this thing into neutral without turning it on. Not sure how to do that. Put the key in the run position. Now I have to guess what we're in, because obviously the car's not on. So I'm gonna guess that's neutral, let's see. down I think that's neutral we'll see all right hoods closed let's move it ground wire well and connected to the unit Seven out of the 10 are out on this side. So I might switch it around and go over there. Uh, I'm just gotta be careful with the fuel line. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I got the fuel line out of the way. I really don't wanna get the wiring harness, obviously. Messed up, so that's out of the way. This, I believe it's a booster hose or a vacuum hose. I have to just watch out for that one. One, two, three. All right, so we should only have to do a couple here. I'm really worried about the back right corner one. That one's gonna be bad. And then it seems like the bottom ones are usually the bad ones. But I'm gonna take this top one off just with a socket and then weld nuts to the bottom ones. That's my plan. The only thing I'm worried about is there's some wiring nearby. I don't want that to burn out. All right, so I'm gonna let the that one cool off. We just did the passenger side one, so that one should be cooler now. The only problem is I don't have a wrench to get that one off, so kind of using a smaller wrench in a different socket, but passenger side one is cooled off. There's just a bunch of um, extra stuff everywhere. It's not very clean. Let me show you that here. All right, so this is the one I did last night just to test. And it came off, and like I said earlier, I had to use a smaller wrench, so. Yeah, this one's still kind of hot, but this is the one we just did earlier. 
as you can see it's not messy so like the sides or it is messy the sides around the nut still have stuff hanging over so i'm not sure if i'll fit a socket on there and my wrench is too small so as i let the driver's side one cool off i will be trying to get this one off it's turning come on wow <laughs> oh no Come on, no, shoot. So it looks like the nut that we welded on just came up. Oh wait, it's nice. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the metal that doesn't look rusted, that's from the, uh, the bolt. So it did work, I didn't think that was, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. I did not think that that one was gonna do it. I thought it got loose, but I guess these things aren't in that tight, so you just gotta like get some leverage on them. So that's optimistic. A Couple more to go and then, as you can see, this is already starting to separate out the valve cover and the head, just from having these loose, which I guess is kind of warping it, but um, we want it off anyway, so. But anyway, that's cool. Let's keep going here. 